Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to the cave. Last time we ended, we were coming up on the souvenir shop again. So let's go and find out what's happening. You can see in the background, oh that's interesting. In the background behind the cave there, he's got those items of, uh, what do they call them? The things you wanted to possess on the way to enlightenment or whatever. And that's kind of cool. Let's get rid of these crackers. There was a postcard at one point that we pulled out of this postcard display. Well, you took long enough. I was gonna send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That nah, doesn't matter. <laughs> we just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, oh, geez. take this giant novelty-sized key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. I don't know about this. Those are the objects of desire, that's what they are called. On the monk's mission to enlightenment. Hello. Keep our eyes peeled for anything interesting. I don't know what these glowing purple mushrooms are. Okay, so we've, we've been through here. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's just going to be the same. It can't be the same. What's this? Oh, it's already been pulled. I guess we're just going back to where that original monster was that wanted the hot dogs. I think. Oh, okay, no, something's different here. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, things have changed since last visit here. Hey, the miner! Do I have to ride that thing again? No, maybe this is... a piece that I can return. So who have we all come across? We've come across the miner, we've come across a hermit, uh, we came across a zoo chick, I think, was the other one. Maybe we were finding little mementos from each of those and turning them in at the, uh, at the gift shop. That's possible, right? Let's see, we'll take this back and we'll see what he says. But that would be kind of cool, actually. I like that idea. Let's see here. Splendid! That will look nice, nice. on the shelf. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? Here you go. Oh, wait, okay, okay. What am I gonna do with this frickin' thing? <laughs> Uh-oh. What you always wanted. Rage boils over. The Dark Master. Whoa! Oh! Okay. So each person has to find something. Monster trophy. Yeah, okay. Awesome! See if we can't get out of here. This elevator seems to be the best way, I think. So that, and then we'll probably have to find something from uh, the hermit guy, I imagine. 
I wonder if if all of those areas are the same every time you play it through with different characters. That's what I would be interested to know. I know that each character will have their specific levels, but uh, not the generic levels, but the basic ones with the zookeeper, the uh, hermit, and the uh, miner guy. I wonder if those ever change. What a fabulous replacement trinket. Oh, that will do just fine. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. There you go. <laughs> We're doing something. <laughs> Something's wrong here. I don't like this. I don't like this. See, it's giving us all the things that were kind of our wrong doings. Like the other guy got the enlightenment monkey thing. We have the, the poison that we killed our parents with. And then the scientist will have the other thing. The bag of money. Family dines together, dies together. <laughs> wow. So they even killed themselves. That's interesting. Well, I mean, you know, it's not interesting, but what's well, interesting? Now let's go down. Oh, what? The cave is not done with me yet. I am almost on fire there. I may need something to blow that up. Nope. And above this, I'm pretty sure was the uh was the miner. Oh, the miner was over there. Mm -mm. Wait, let's see what happens if I go up here. Aha! Oh, I'm taking the dog! No! So I'm taking everyone else's prized possessions. <laughs> and trading them in for the ones I want. Basically, greed is probably not the greatest thing. I feel bad for taking this dog. Right, let's see what the cave's gonna do to us. I have a feeling it's not gonna be good. Splendid! That will look nice on the shelf. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? <laughs> Enjoy! There's our bag of money for the scientist who wants to be rich. Everyone got what they wanted. Unimaginable wealth. Look at her boat. She's on a boat. And only a slight downside for the rest of us. Yeah, because I think a couple million people had to die or something. Well, you might think of this evening as a failure, but it was not. True, our friends did not learn the lessons they were meant to. They are destined to choose a path that can lead only to misery and disappointment. Not to mention a few lawsuits and possibly an embarrassing reality TV show. But I know you will leave here tonight with a new perspective on the choices to come. Someday, you yourself shall explore my mysterious depths. And when we meet again on that journey, I am confident you will make the right decisions. Because I am the cave. Oh, that was pretty interesting. I had fun with that. It definitely lends itself to uh, multiple playthroughs, which um, I may do at some point. If I do, I'll, I'll only record the uh, the special missions, but 
Uh, I have to say, I enjoyed that. It was a cool little puzzle game, and uh, the story was was actually interesting. And I like that it's not all like happy and whatever at the end. So I'm gonna let the credits play out here if you guys want to check that out. There may be something at the end of the credits, I don't know. I like when games and movies do that, so I'm gonna stay tuned and see what happens. Thanks guys for all the support in the videos, all the likes, all the comments, all the subscribers, all the everything. You guys rock and uh, you make this really enjoyable for me, so I really appreciate that. I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye.